What's up? So, continuing with the season dealing with yourself, this is a video on how to stay home. Then you might ask yourself, what do you mean how to stay home? Um, staying home is like stay home. I do my stuff. N not quite. Um, in the past seven, eight, eight and a half months, a lot of people were obliged to stay home. They were used to have a completely different life and out of the blue, they needed to stay home. They couldn't leave. In some places, the rules were more strict. In other places, they were more flexible. But in the vast majority of the cases, people were obliged to, to, to stay home and sometimes without even the permission to leave the house. So they had to get everything delivered and so on. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people who couldn't deal with that. A lot of people who suffered a lot with that situation. Um, they got depressed, they gained a lot of weight, um, they couldn't accomplish anything. They were just the whole day staying in bed, doing nothing, waiting for the time to pass. Um, and doing things that they didn't need to do. Watching things that are not uh, helping them improve or, or anything. Um, they, they were not taking their time to invest on something that was worth doing because they just felt, I don't know, depressed or sad or whatever, but it was not positive and it affected people's, um, health, not only the, the, the body, the physiological health, but also their mental health. And, um, I kept asking myself, what can I suggest to these people that I know? And well, this video comes um, exactly to answer that question in a broader way. Instead of answering just the people that I know, that I've talked to and that I gave suggestions, I'm going to address everyone that perhaps will have contact with this video. Um, if there is a situation that you cannot solve, if there is a situation that goes beyond your reach, in terms of solving it and dealing with it. It's not that you have to capitulate or to surrender, but you have to understand that for that moment, in our case, for these months, there isn't much you can do about it. If there isn't much you can do about it, the situation is given. Now it's on you to decide what will you do with the situation that is given and that for the foreseeable future, you cannot change much. The things that I decided to do during this time were things that I was doing previously, but I just, let's say, increased my investment on them. I just dedicated more time, more attention, more care and more dedication um, than previously, but I didn't invent, let's say, anything new. What's the problem with that when I'm giving you a suggestion? If you are not used to do these things, you will have to somehow invent them for yourself. It doesn't have to be the same ones that I did, but you will have to create new habits. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't need to create new habits for myself. Why? Let me tell you. I love reading. I'm a very, very hungry book consumer. I love studying not only reading because reading for me it's not leisure i read to I, I read to study to learn to investigate so i had the time to read much more to dedicate myself to books much more and very important i tried to read uh physical books not online physical books allow you to have a better interaction with what you're reading allow you to take notes to underline, to mark what was the most important thing for you. With the actual technology, there are probably ways of doing that if you read on your phone, iPad or, or, or laptop. I know that. But trust me, the interaction with the book, when you have it physically in your hands and you can deal with the pages, is different. So I made an effort to read a lot of books, as much as I could, as many as I could and it worked. I read more than in regular years of my life. Another thing that I tried to do was dedicate myself more to proper physical exercise. 
So I tried as much as I could, as much as the place where I am or where I was allowed me to have one hour cardio every day and one hour of more intense physical activity. And then you might say, oh, but why would I do this? Uh, what's the reason? We have no work now. Some, so many people are jobless. I feel bad. We can't go out, blah, 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 blah. I normally don't do these kind of things. I normally don't do physical activity because I want to impress people. I just want to age as well as possible in good conditions. And I want my body to be able to sustain me in whatever I want to do. Physical activities, intellectual activities, or whatsoever. So I try to take care of it. Um, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling bad about what's happening, physical activity are not only going to help you getting into shape, in a decent shape, you don't need it to be Mr. Universe or anything like that, but it will help you to get into shape and um, it will help you feeling better with yourself because one of the benefits of physical activity Choose something that you like, okay, that makes you feel good somehow or something that are, that is interesting for you. One of the benefits of physical activity is that gives you this, this better all-in-all -all sensation, this overall feeling that you're feeling good, this, this sensation that things are well within yourself, so to say, not necessarily here or here, but you have an overall sensation that everything is okay for you, you, you feel good, so to say. Um, besides reading and besides physical activity, of course, I try to take care of my nourishment. Normally, in my daily life, I'm running a lot, I'm moving from one place to another, and in so many occasions, my schedule kind of messes up a little bit with um, the way I want to eat. And in this period now, since the beginning of March, for me, I don't know when it started for you, but for me, since the beginning of March, I had the possibility to invest much more in nutrition, eating properly, eating when I thought it was correct or healthy or better for me. I had the opportunity to prepare food carefully, slowly, with attention, without the rush of a regular daily life. So I could take care of um, eating as healthy as I could or as I could afford. And um, I could take care of a good digestion, eating slowly, chewing it, not worried about anything else because I could dedicate myself only to do that. So this is also something else that can occupy you and um, it's going to be beneficial for you, taking care of your nutrition, of the way you eat. Another thing that helped me, that uh, I did and it helped me, so to say, was sleeping. I know a lot of people who had their sleep messed up because they were sleeping in random uh, schedules. What was my effort? No matter how sleepy, how sedated by the lack of things in my, in, in my life, lack of things going on, I felt I made a huge effort to not sleep during the day, to not nap, to not fall asleep for any reason. So I managed to kind of control my sleep and go to bed at a certain time and sleep eight hours in a row, non-stop, until the following day. I wasn't going to bed and I'm not going to bed every day on the same exact time, but that helped me a lot. And I think you should make an effort to that. Um, if you feel like sleeping, if you feel asleep, if, if the temptation comes, hold it, try to make the best to, to stay awake and don't go to bed wait until the, the the moment you would normally like to go to bed. I don't know in your case, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight, 1 a.m., but try to hold on. And when you go to bed, sleep. Sleep and try to sleep as many hours as possible, up to eight. If your sleep is messed up and it's not working, sleep as many hours as you can. If you wake up and you literally cannot sleep anymore, start doing things to make your day somehow be productive. If you didn't sleep enough during the day, you are going to feel like sleeping. You are going to feel uh, asleep. You are going to be like, oh my God, I really need a nap. Make an effort, don't. After a couple of days, 
when you go to sleep at night, you are going to be so tired, so exhausted that you're just going to faint in bed and you're going to sleep around eight hours to recover from those days you didn't sleep enough and woke up earlier. So try to make this effort. And um, last but not least, one of the things that you can try to do, I know many people did it already, many people did it several times, but another thing that you can try to do is try to organize the place where you live so that it's a comfortable place, that it's a place where you feel good at. Um, I know that in eight months you already had the chance to do it thousands of times, but if you haven't done it yet, or if you've done thousands of times and you don't feel like doing it again, find something else to replace it. Find something else that you might consider interesting. I'm just telling you the things that worked for me, the things that I did that kept me busy somehow. Um, and please make an effort to avoid useless distractions, things that are not bringing you anywhere, things that are not helping you improve, because these things, they are going to have an effect on your psyche. They, these things, they are going to make you feel like life is useless, life is purposeless, or that you are not doing anything productive or anything like that. Try to do things that you really feel that you have accomplished something, even if it's something like small, but try to go in that direction. And um, let me tell you how it goes for you and what kind of activity you found that um, is fulfilling yourself, is, is making you feel like your day is being productive and things are happening for you. Maybe they will be great ideas for me as well or for other people, okay? Stay strong. This is going to last a little longer, longer than what we wanted. So patience, maturity and mental strength are going to be fundamental for the upcoming months. See you in the next video.